Hello friends, hope you all are doing good. And in this video, we are going to continue our QA series. So if you haven't watched this series, uh, just go through it. And in today's video, we are going to cover uh, the duplicates, uh, like finding the duplicate in an array. And uh, we are going to cover this uh, problem in two ways. So first is the like uh, normal approach. And after that, we are going to improve the efficiency. So let's start. Let's create our Java class. Mm, let's name is duplicate array. Mm, let's create our min method. After this, uh, we have to take an integer array. Let's take the sample size. So for the simplification, let's start with this very basic integer array. After this, as I have told you, we are going to use two approach. So first one is the normal approach. It is more of an like brute force approach in which we are going to cover each and every uh, like possibility. And after that, we are going to find the duplicates. Okay, so in this, what we are going to do, uh, so we have to find the duplicates. So first uh, we have like, let's take a counter it will uh, the i will start from one okay let me comment down this also so i will start from one and will uh, traverse till the end okay and in the same way uh, we can also take one more uh, pointer it will start from the second because i like we are going to compare one got it so we are going to compare this one with each and every element in the array if we have found the duplicate we are going to return true or possibly print that uh, one otherwise we are going to increase our this counter we will start with two so as one is already compared with two so there is uh, no like sense of comparing two with one right so again we are going to compare two with three and one so this pointer like selecting each and every element and like picking up is the uh, is the work of i pointer and comparing it with the rest of the elements will be the work of j pointer okay so let's let's uh, like code it so for duplicate not it's duplicate uh, is duplicate and let's pass the array let's create our method void is duplicate okay yeah we have to make this static can anyone comment why it is giving us the static error it's because this main is static and uh, like we cannot call a non static methods from the static method so that's why we have to make the static these are the uh, school of basics in java okay so let's uh, like we have got our array all right now let us uh, start our first loop so this loop is going to pick up the element so it will start with the first element that's okay and it will go till uh, the length of the array all right and now we have to make this loop in such a way that it is going to compare like it is going to select the rest of the elements so it should like uh, if we have selected one then is there is uh, like we will start from two we are going to compare with two so let's take it i plus one um and this will also go till the end of the array and increment it oh -ho. now let us compare that if uh ARR of I is like if we have got a match then let's print duplicate found 
and we can also print the element that which element uh, is duplicate okay and let's say uh, there is no duplicate found okay this condition is false then after coming out of this for loop we can print that no duplicates are found but i can see a problem here that if no like uh, even if this condition is true after coming out of the for loop this like this print statement will always be true okay so let's introduce a flag mm. initially make it false that boolean flag false and if we have like got a duplicate then flag should be true okay and after this uh, if like uh, this condition will only run when this condition will be false okay let us format our code and that let's try to run it so it should print one duplicate found two why it is finding duplicate like uh, two okay there was an issue with the program that uh, instead of uh, looping over j we have done it over i so that was an issue let's like fix it sometimes it happens like uh, well while writing the code to for loops uh, you try to jumble up so uh, i think it should uh, like let's let's try this test case okay it should uh, print that no duplicate is found yeah it's working correctly and after that um, let's introduce a duplicate so it should print 1 and 3 yeah <coughs> now it is working correctly so this is the first approach uh, can you tell the time complexity of this approach so this for loop is going to take a uh, big o of n and this is also going to take big o of n so the time complexity of this will be big o of n square okay and now we have to improve uh, this time complexity and we will do it uh, in our second approach okay so in our second approach we are going to take an hash map okay and uh, we are going to save uh, the occurrence of each and every integer and we have already covered this uh, program like through hash map in this uh, method okay so you can watch this video occurrence of word so we are we have done the same thing that we are going to take each and every word that uh, how many times one is uh, occurring in this uh, array and uh, based on that we are going to print that whether uh, this is a duplicate or not okay so let's uh, uh, write down the code for this uh, let's make it is duplicate one let's make it hash map okay we are going to pass the array let's comment this also let's make the method um, private static void uh, is duplicate mm, this is an array okay after this uh, we have to like first uh, initialize our hash map so this integer like this key will be of integer type and value will also be of integer type okay let's put the values here also 
now like uh, we have already covered this that we have to iterate over this array and see whether the element which is which we have selected over this array uh, does it contain in map or not so for that we are going to use the for each loop and we are going to iterate over arr and what is the type of arr that is of int type so let's take int i okay so now at this moment we have like the one and we have to uh, see that whether this map contains one or not okay so let's if map dot contains key i if it is true then we have to increase the counter so for that we have to there is a method put method okay so this is the key and we have to increase the value so map dot get i we have to get the value of i and increase it by one all right and if this is not true then that means that uh, this element is not present uh, in the entire map okay so for that we have to put i and one okay i hope uh, let's format it and before proceeding further let us try to print whether that this uh, this this is working correctly or not okay so value of map mm, let's put map let's try to run it uh, yeah one is coming twice two is coming one and three is coming twice that means it is working correctly now we have to write a method that uh, if the uh, values are greater than one then uh, print the duplicates and uh, tell that which uh, duplicates are there okay so for that uh, we have to like let's take a for each loop because we have to iterate over map now okay and for this use there is a method key set and what is the uh, type of key set that is of in type okay so like this is key and this is value so the key is of in type so let's take int i okay and if uh, let's write if map dot get the value of i if it is greater than one then let's print Mm, found duplicate uh, we have to print the value of i all right otherwise like if this is not true then we have to print that no duplicate found again the same problem that we have to introduce a flag otherwise we are not able to will be not able to like uh, print this uh, no duplicate found message okay so um, let's take let's take the same approach boolean flag firstly it is false that means no duplicate are found and if this is the case then let's increase the counter of uh, flag and let's put it in curly braces now like flag uh, is equal to true let's close and format the code okay now let us uh, like uh, put uh, the same approach that if this flag is true then okay so right now the flag is false like the initial value of a flag is false and if uh, we have found a duplicate then this flag will be true and uh, true um, not that will be false so if this is false then this is going to print it and otherwise also so let's say uh, this is false and we have not duplicate found so it will come here and this will be true and that's why like this uh, print uh, statement will be printed okay so now let's test our code uh, let's run it so yeah one and three are found now the test case number two 
that if we delete the duplicates save it run it again no duplicates found great and let us try to see this test case also so if one is coming more than once so here also yeah found duplicate one great uh, this is working correctly and uh, so what is the time complexity of uh, this hash map like this uh, method which we have implemented through hash map so uh, if we are using for loop this is a big o of n and that's it yeah so the time complexity of uh, this method will be big o of n and if this question is asked in the interview so what like i am going to like do is that first give this approach like the normal approach and uh, through that then obviously like the interviewer going, interviewer is going to ask you that okay how can you improve it then you can tell this program don't just directly dump, jump on this uh, hash map thing okay so that's it guys if you have any like issues uh, comment down below and if you have liked this video and if you if it would have been like added some value then please uh, comment down below okay so that's it guys see you soon bye